So in the last video we went over how to add a variable product and we, we did it the, the difficult way. And now I want to take you through this simple way on how to add a variable product. So um, I'm going to come back up here. Uh, we're back at our products page. I deleted our other temporary products since we don't need them anymore. I'm going to come up here to add product and I'm going to add my products title. I'm just going to call this a simple variable product. Okay, so enter in my SKU. Remember on a variable product we do not enter in the price or the sale price because as soon as we change this to a variable product those are going to go away. Now last time we came into the attributes tab here okay, um, and we we created some custom attributes. Now we already have some some attributes already there. Now let's say that we were creating a, just a th this is going to have uh, three roses in it. And the only thing we need to know is what color they want their roses to be. They're you know they're going to have some 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 very limited selections. Okay, some general selections, and that's the only thing that we really need to know. We don't need anything else. Okay, so they're only going to have one thing to select from. Okay, in this one category. And to do that, we're just going to come over here. I'm just going to click on color and then I'm going to click add. And it is going to give me this. Now you're going to notice that none of these are selected. Okay, I cannot fill in the name. The name is already filled in. And none of these are selected at all. Before it always said visible on the product page, but now we don't have that selected when we do this. But we still do have to select use for variations. If we do not tell that to use this for variations, it will not use it for variations and it will not come up over here if we do not select that checkbox. Now we could enter in values if we wanted to. Here's a list of values, in fact, that we've entered in, in last time before. I could just come there and click those. But that's not what I... Oop, see, I clicked off of that and it disappeared. I'm going to come right over here. See that? And pop it right back up. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come down here. I want to see what the values are that I can select from here. Uh, so I'm just going to click on Select All, and it's going to take all of these values that we have in here and it's going to put it in here. But as we look at these, we see some interesting ones that we don't want. Like, for instance, here I've got mixed red and pink twice. I don't want that, so that needs to go. You know, uh, let's see, what do we got here? In fact, I've got mixed red and pink, like like three times there. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay, We have pink roses. We do not have purple roses. We do not have orange roses or yellow roses. I don't know if there are lavender roses or not. I'm just going to be safe and say that there's not. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's not green. If there's black, I don't think that they would be a, a popular item. Well, maybe with the, the goths, I don't know. So, And I'm also going to remove blue. So there we are. There we go. We can. They can choose red and pink, white and pink, white and yellow, red and white, pink, yellow, white, and red. I like that. Okay, I'm going to come up. Oh, make sure that I have flowers selected over here. And while I'm here, I'm going to I'm going to add a featured image again. So once again, we're going to select that featured image. We're going to select files from our computer, and I'm just going to put in that same white rose that we put in again. I'm kind of boring that way, and we'll give it a minute to upload. And remember, we're going to come back down here to the bottom. And the only thing we're interested in is uses featured image. We don't we don't want anything else there. And once we do that, I'm going to put it over there. We don't need to click Save All Changes here. That's not necessary. Just X right out of here. We've got our featured image in there. Here we've got our our attributes set from our list. We've got our we've got our title for our product. We got a description of our product, and we've named it. It's in the flowers category. And I'm going to click Publish. Okay, there we go. Now, if I were to go look at our product right now, we don't have any variations. So even though I put those variations in there, we don't have any variations, but it's a variable product. They can't even purchase this thing right now. There's no variations, there's no price, there's no nothing. This is, when you set it as a variable product, if you don't set variations, this is what the customer gets. So you've got to remember to, once you're done here, once you've set that, you've got to remember to come back down here to variations. And then we're just going to see where it says de default selections. This says no default color. 
generally speaking, you're not going to want to do a, a default selection in there. Um, if you do a default selection, then the um, Add to Cart button will already be up there, and and that could cause, in this particular instance where you want people to make an informed choice, that could just cause some problems for you later on down the line. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click Add Variation, and it is just going to add this in there. We're going to put our price. Let's say that this is $19.99. All right. I'm not going to denote stock quantity just because it's a variable product. I can still control inventory just like I did before here at the inventory tab. I do not need to control it here unless, for instance, red roses were $19.99 but white roses were $24.99. And then I could, then here you would want to go ahead and control the stock quantity like that, for instance. But generally speaking, you're, you're not, you're probably not going to have that issue, so that's not going to be necessary. And you're still going to want to control inventory here in the inventory tab. So, all right, we've added our variation. Okay. As you see this time, uh, we get, we get the, the exact same thing that we got before with our own variable products. It's just that, that uh, this time we didn't, uh, in the other attributes tab, we didn't have to go through all that other rigmarole. So anyway, we'll come up here and we will click update. Entered in a price, entered in the variables. Let's go take a look at those variations. There they are right there. See that? All right, we're going to come up and click view product. And now we have a price and we can make a selection and get our add to cart button. So that is how you add a simple, vari a pro a simple variable product into the buildaperfectgift.com system. Um, in the next video, uh, we are going to go over some of the major portions of the WooCommerce interface just to kind of get you an overview of, of what you're capable of with WooCommerce and then how to print an order receipt.